Okay, disclaimer, I am not a physician. This information is not used to diagnose, treat, or prevent any disease. Before you start any exercise program, please consult your physician, and if you have an injury, go see a physical therapist or a doctor. Okay. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, let's roll. Here we go. Whew. Oh, that is pretty bad. <laughs> Let me see. What's up, Planet Roller Skaters? Indy Jama Jones here, and today we are here again with Caitlin. Hi. You may have seen her before in the ankle mobility episode. Today, we are going to do some more things. <laughs> yep. We're talking about ways to prevent injury. So I'm a certified occupational therapy assistant, and that means I work in a nursing home, and I help people who've had strokes, or like traumatic brain injury, learn to take care of themselves again. And a lot of what I do involves recovering from injury and regaining mobility and preventing injury. So today we had a class, Caitlin had a class um, about stretching and flexibility and, I'm sorry, I'm using the wrong words. Mobility. About mobility, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I learned that I have been preaching incorrect information, it was very, Humbling. <laughs> I've always been one of those people that preaches that stretching is the best way to prevent injury. And Caitlin is actually the most up to date on recent studies and research, and she has more accurate information for us. Thank yeah. goodness. You shouldn't feel bad though. I mean, <laughs> this information is so widespread. We've been trained for like, you know, 60 years to stretch before activity. It starts in grade school, it starts in preschool, and it, everybody believes that, I think, unless you've had specific training to tell you what the real research is. Well, but, okay. The last 20 years, um, there's it's been an explosion in research on how to prevent injuries and increase flexibility and function. And so now we do know what you can do to prevent injury, and it's not stretching. <laughs> <laughs> so this episode is going to be Caitlin giving us a quick overview of the best ways to actually prevent injury as a skater and how you should and should not stretch. So I'm going to just be behind the camera and let you do your thing. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so you're going skating and you feel a little tight and you want to prepare your body so that you don't pull something or break something and get hurt. It's a super common feeling in roller skating. Maybe you're about to play a roller derby game or go to the skate park. None of us wants to get injured. I've personally been injured a lot and that's how I learned about all of this stuff in addition to my academic training. So traditionally, what you might do is hold a static stretch. So that's where you get in a position like a front straddle split or a side straddle, get to the end of your range of motion, hang out, do some deep breathing, and see if you can go further. It turns out that that kind of stretching not only does it not prevent injury, but it can actually lead you to become injured, especially if you do it too much and past your normal range of motion, and especially if you do it before activity. Now, it doesn't mean that increasing your mobility, your range of motion is not beneficial. It actually is super beneficial to gain control over ranges of motion that are more extreme than you encounter in your everyday life but you don't want to stretch before activity. So the best thing you can do if you're about to go for a skate, especially if you're about to play a sport, is do movements that mimic what you're about to do, but do them with less intensity. That's the ideal warm up. So let's say you're gonna to go to the skate park. You might wanna do some standing deep squats that mimic the action of pumping. If you're gonna be popping out of the bowl, then you definitely warm up, warm up with some basic jumping. Um, if you're about to play roller derby, then you may want to do some lateral jumps and cutting, some ground contact exercises. Whatever you do, static stretching, according to almost 20 years of high quality research now, is not the way to go. If you do want to increase your mobility, and we're probably going to do some episodes about this later, definitely blog posts with specific exercises, what you want to start focusing on is controlling a range of motion with your muscles. So rather than using gravity to get in a position and hang out, you want to use the strength of your muscles to get in a position and control it. That kind of strength can really improve your performance over time and it can decrease your rate of injury. So if you're interested in learning more about this, please comment with your specific questions. I'm gonna post links to some of my favorite research if you're into that so that you can see what I'm basing my feeling about this on. Um, there's a lot of misinformation and a lot of very strong opinions about stretching out there and I think 
it's good for people to actually read a little bit of the research so they're not taking the word of someone that they don't even know when it comes to preventing injury to their own body. So let me know if you have any questions or specific exercises that you'd like to see and we will do it. Out of Ooh, question. Time. Yep. Um, you may have mentioned this, but um, just again, if stretching isn't the best way to the prevent injury, how can I prevent injury? Yeah, so in addition to warming up correctly, which is the lower intensity activities that mimic what you're going to do, the best way to prevent injury is to develop active mobility and strength. So that's what we just did. And then also to work on coordination and balance training, especially for skating or activities where you're cutting hard or jumping. The best thing you can do to prevent injury to your knees, ankles, hips especially, is to work on your balance and your coordination. So when you're looking for exercises, videos online, instead of looking for stretching videos, look for coordination videos, look for balance videos, and especially look for active mobility videos, and you'll be on the right track. Awesome, and so in addition to looking for those things that already exist, we are definitely, I mean, as soon as you're available, I'm down to start filming more episodes like this. Um, we're gonna do our best to build those resources for you, um, and for skating specifically. Yeah. And yeah, I think this is, you know, something that we've needed for a long time, and I'm so grateful that you're happy to help us. I really <laughs> want to prevent injuries. You know, honestly, I feel like injuries are really a matter of it's not if, it's when, which yeah. we've talked about already in Planet Roller Skate. But if you're prepared and your body is well trained, you can recover faster from injuries, you can get fewer of them, and you'll have a longer skating career. So awesome. um, look forward to more specific skate uh, mobility content in the future. Awesome. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Yeah, Be sure to guys. like, comment, subscribe, hit a Planet Roller Skate shop for everything you need from helmet to toe stop. And until next time, later skaters. Later skaters. <laughs> Chill. I'm going to post that.